Hi, Cal BHP UK, and if you've been following the channel, you will know that we did in fact get one of the first Ducati RSs that came into the country. Uh, we have run it in, it has been back to Ducati Manchester for a service. Uh, we've done a few more miles on it since then, really got to know the bike on the road, uh, and we are going to start data logging it now. We've already had a look at the software that's on the ECU. Some very interesting points have, uh, you know, have come to light. We're running every mode that's available to us. Uh, we'll data log it, see exactly what the engine's doing, and see how it's been set up at the factory it is obviously running the desmo engine which is the same as what's in the panigale in the street fighter allegedly uh, if you if you look at ducati's uh, marketing it has been tuned more for a touring stroke uh, sports tourer and it makes as a consequence it makes a little less power at the top i'm going to find out exactly how ducati have done that there is talk that some of the hardware on the throttle bodies is different but let's see as a stage one what it's doing on the dyno and what's different in the software. We'll come up with some modifications, get them tested again, and we'll come up with a stage one tune for this bike. So the uh, Multistrada RS, what did we actually manage to do with it? Well, when we ran it on the dyno, we soon found out that the bike was running lean everywhere. Um, a little bit leaner actually than the Pikes Peak was running, uh, even at 20% throttle. Uh, you can see from the, the fueling plots here, and at 40% throttle, the bike was really, really lean. The blue uh, line is the stock bike, and the red line is the modified file. You can see that we've added a huge amount of fuel, pretty much running at 13 0.2, 13 .3 to 1, pretty much everywhere across the rev range now. The bike was fairly heavily restricted in the software by Ducati. You can see here at 60%, the red plot is the unrestricted bike with the fueling corrected. And you can see that above 8,000 RPM, the bike now carries on making linear power. And you get a far more linear power delivery now, even if you just hold the throttle at 60%. Whereas the stock bike does uh, plateau off at about 80 brake horsepower. At 80%, it's the same story again. At 8,000 RPM, the bike does start to plateau off as standard. And with the unrestricted map, it carries on producing power now up to 147. Okay, so at 100%, it's quite a different story to the other Euro 4 and Euro 5 bikes that we tend to see. The factory have quite heavily restricted the power output of this bike above 9,000 RPM. You can see we've been able to achieve 180 brake horsepower. The stock bike, the blue plot is making 166 brake horsepower. The factory claim 180 at the crank, so a loss of about 13 and a half brake horsepower is what you'd expect to see on a bike like this, running the tires that it's running. So we can safely assume that it, it is probably making 180 at the crank. The Panigale, which is obviously running the same engine, slight differences in some parts of the hardware on the intake side, I'm led to believe. And that's what our research seems to be pointing towards. But as well as that, the bike is fairly heavily restricted in the software. Removing those restrictions, tuning the bike to run properly, the bike now makes 180 brake horsepower at the back wheel. So if theoretically we're making 194 brake horsepower at the crank, that's actually more than the factory says that the race exhaust will make. Uh, this is a bike that I have been using as a, as a bit of a daily tool. Uh, and the power difference above 9,000 RPM now is absolutely huge. It's a real significant change. Testing it against uh, a Pikes Peak, uh, it's it really does have the legs on a pike speak this bike now with the map done please do stay tuned because we do have quite a lot in the pipeline for this bike we will be bringing some hardware modifications to it and also if you're interested in our opinion how we found it different to the pike's peak on the road and on the dyno and we will be looking at other hardware modifications to see if we can liberate the full 200 plus brake horsepower that the desmo engine does make in the panigales and the street fighters we have taken quite a while to develop this this bike and it is available now on our ECU flasher. This is a flasher that lets you take a read from your bike, send that file to one of our map writers. They'll modify it, taking into account any modifications that you've made to the hardware on your bike.